All right, welcome everybody to this. Welcome to this video where I, here you and I do one, is gonna go through the menus and everything and show you how to do everything. Ba 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 da, you know. Um. So here we have the main thing. Here we have all that is, uh, you know, normal. Um. Here's where you get your uh, your login bonuses quest and you know quests and stuff quests and missions you have a friends list here go ahead and you can show show yourself off to your friends and stuff i'm not gonna get into that um here you can go ahead and upgrade your castle so it'll have a different design you can change the design as well so if i want i can do this and i can have this type of castle instead but i like the golden deers because i like the whole um I like Claude a lot. So, uh, also by spending orbs, you can actually go ahead and see and boost the amount of XP that you earn. So if I had, if I spend 10 orbs on the Royal Castle, I'll actually boost my XP earned by 100% instead of just having, you know, 80, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Um, so, what else is there? that you're thinking of well good thing that you asked here in the battle section we have events here in these events you can go ahead and you can participate in some of these events the ones that are actually lit up the ones that aren't lit up you can't really partake in they've already ended forging bonds however it's a good uh, event that's going on right now it is um a good event to give you orbs at least two orbs each day which is nice. Um, see down here, it shows how many times I've done this event. I'm on my last orbs. Uh, there is seven days left, as you can see, but no, I've already done the ones for today. The blue check mark indicates that I've already done them today. But this one over here indicates that I still need the last one. That That's my next day's uh, rewards. But if you select stage over here, as you can see, there's three different, um, three different difficulties. Stamina cost of 10 for advance, 10 for intermediate, and 10 for beginner. Uh, you do get different amount of hearts though, as you can see. It says it up here, 18. Um, as you can see, all these peoples have hearts, but they're different heart colors. That's because when you go into these stages and you defeat people, they drop different colored hearts. And those colored hearts go to the one that it signifies to, or corresponds to, I should say. And then you can also get these, like, accessories that you can wear on your units. Go ahead, like, let's take, for instance, Corrin, right? Corrin here, I already reached his friendship of 100, and I got this little dragon, uh, draconic mask, right? That's, you know, his details and everything. See, if I were to keep getting, by by chance, getting his hearts when I defeat enemies, I can eventually get tickets to summon on his banner for free, uh, level up uh, crystals, universal level up crystals, awakening items for blue units, feathers. Feathers are usually used for uh, awakening units from three star, from three star to four star to four star to five star, you know. Um... Here we have more awakening stuffs, conversations. Uh, this is used for um, refining and enhancing weapons, certain weapons. Uh, what else is there? You can end up getting the normal colored version of the, the Dragonic Mask. It's the EX version. You get the Lost Chapters. I don't know what they're used for, I'm sorry. I know these up here, the Grails, the Heroic Grails, are used for um uh summoning free to play uh event characters so let's say you miss out on an event right you go ahead and you use these chalices right here to summon one copy of that unit and i think they come in as a four star if i'm not mistaken but yeah uh, just know that there's rewards for every single person like ike you go ahead and you get his his vanguard's band which is his um bandana Later on, you get the normal version where it's not glowing purple. Um, other than that, there's Grand Conquest, where you pretty much serve as one of these three, under the rule of one of those three. 
and you go ahead and you take over the spots from your opponents and try to rule over everybody else. They haven't started it yet. It begins in one the hours until battle one begins is eight. Registration check complete. Please wait for the battle one to begin. Um, what else is there? Majora's Strikes. I'm not really too um, in depth with these. I don't really know what's it about. It says Strikes Down the Week. Yeah, a bunch of information that I don't really want to go into, but I'll probably make another video covering this once I look into it, or maybe I might not. I'm not too sure. Um, what else is there? Hollow Forms, where you go ahead and they assign you a, a team of four. So last Hollow Forms that I was doing was these four. It was Brave Lion Roy, uh, Lenia, Blush of Youth, Thea, Stormy Flyer, and... Uh, What's her face? Cecilia, Festive Instructor, right? The thing is, these are all like limited time event units, right? Thing is, you can take one of these allies, I believe, by having one of these formulas, right? But the thing is, they cost money, see? And you're only getting one. But it's a nice little way when they do run the event to actually go ahead and get orbs it'll show down at the bottom like down here when the event is going on as you can see the event has ended so you're not able to do stuff but in this game mode you go ahead and you work your way up through the battles and everything and you get to learn like you can choose oh hey i want to slap noontime on my roy right after winning this match or this battle and then as you progress through the matches, you slowly like build up this team, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty fun game mode. Um, second off, we got the training tower. Okay. Something that this game has that not a lot of the gacha games have. This is called the training tower, okay? This place is where you get to go with your team and just pretty much rank up, rack up XP and you get to choose, you see it right here, level 5, right? Level 1, level 10, level 15, 20, 24, 26, right? Let's say my team is this team, right? All level 1s, right? With level 3, level 2. I go down to the starting stratum. I can level up here, right? Trick or treat. Press fight. I can adjust my units. Alright. Of course. What now? Put that there, that there. Indeed. All right. Another thing I will mention is that certain units like uh, swords for yes. swordsmen that are close range compared to mages, they can't counterattack unless if they're unless if they're what's it called? Um, they're uh, they have an ability that lets them, you know, counteract the hit or counter hit. Which is like distant counter. That move allows you to counter hit anybody from any range. Let's move. But you got to think of it. You see this spot yes. right here? You see now? how everything is divided by blocks, right? Or squares. Think of this. Oh. <laughs> Cut through. Think of that spot. Trickery, eh? yep. Think of that spot as of um, like a bridge, if you will. Like I can't get over to him, right? He can hit me, but I can't hurt him. And I'll show you up here at the top, underneath our health bars, how much damage we'll be doing to each other. Like he's gonna do two, I'm gonna do 18. I level up, levels up. As you can see, the stats go up. I've proven I can serve my liege no matter how I am attired. Oh yeah, cause this is the, uh, I forgot, this was the Halloween Jacob, I forgot. Very nice, very good unit. Um, but yeah, you kind of get the just, right? Surrender, I don't care. You kind of go in here, you level up, you have a good time, right? Anyway, as you can see, let's say I see that... Oh yeah, by the way, before I get into anything, there is a weapon triangle into this game. So red will be green. Green will be blue. Okay? What's it called? And blue will be red. So let's say I'm trying to train up my Byleth here, right? I'm trying to train up my Byleth, right? He's a red swordsman. And oh, look at that. There's a blue in here. 
down here in the in the contents, you can see in the starting stratum, you can see in every stratum what it contains in that fight. As you can see in the first stratum, in the starting stratum, it says a swordsman, two swordsmen, two red swordsmen with one lancer, and ignore that, um, and one bowman, right? Now, if I don't want to go up against that, I can hit this green button up here next to the question mark, and it will rotate the matchups or the units in the fights until what I until I get what I want. Like, look at that. That's perfect to level up my Byleth, because there's one swordsman, right? And there's three, there's four, four green units. Green is always beaten by red, so that'd be ideal for my Byleth. So then I'd go ahead and I'd launch it, and I'd go ahead and I'd, and I'd do it, right? And then I'd just have Byleth kill all the opponents, so that way he can level up. So, you know, this, this gets really nice. There's always, like, monthly missions that reset in the game, which is always nice. It's a good way to give orbs to everybody. Um, yeah, this is where you go to level up your units. You don't always have to set yourself on just leveling units through like the leveling system through like the crystals and stuff always check out the the training stratum or the training tower it's always nice i can't tell you how many times i've trained up certain units and it was tons of fun because i got to play with the units and have fun with them instead of just going ahead and dumping a bunch of crystals and i'm like oh they're max level okay whoopee you know all right next is the coliseum here we have the arena battles the, the ones i was doing before in my video that I made earlier this month um, as you can see down here you're giving this re these rewards when winning in in a row so let's say I see how I've already won one if I were to lose the next one I wouldn't get these rewards and I'd be reset behind this so then I'd have to win one and then I'd have to win a second one in a row just to get these coins also Tells you how many days are left in the season up here. Here are the characters that give you bonus points. So that way you can climb the ladder higher and a lot easier. Here it also shows you what you're getting in your ladder or your ranking I should say. So you'd get, you know, feathers, you get orbs and all that good stuff, right? Alright. What else would you get? And that's about it. Arena Assault, this is more for like the more advanced people, the people who have like a bunch of teams. Uh, Allegiance Battle, legendary heroes with the pair up ability can be used in these battles. Friends heroes can pair up too. So it's, it's a different type of game mode that I haven't really double synced my, or you know, dove into yet. So I can't really say much. Story maps, here is where it becomes very free to play friendly, okay? My main story, right? Let's go all the way back to book one, right? As you can see, it says normal up here. It's normal mode. This is what you start off on, right? Chapter one. Starts off at, you know, level one. You go ahead. Oh, and this game has original story, by the way. It's not just go ahead, copy and paste from like the original games. The, there's like all these characters. This timeline, I believe, does go in... I don't know if it goes in order. Yeah, no, it doesn't go in order. <laughs> uh, but I know Marth is the one who starts it all. But as you can see, let's see, five five parts to the chapter, right? Each single one of these will grant you one orb. One orb being the summoning currency for this game, right? One orb. Keep in mind, there is how many chapters in this? 13 chapters with two other intermissions that probably give you orbs as well. I don't remember because I've done all these in like, and it's been a long time. All these give you orbs, right? They all have the same amount of missions. Okay, so you're telling me. Okay, so what? You got chapters and you got orbs and you got all these parts, right? Alright, do you not understand how free to play friendly this is? Like, it's giving you so many orbs already. This is only book one. You have book two, that has the same amount of chapters pretty much, book three, and book four, that's still going right now. This guy, Corrin, this fell Corrin, this evil looking Corrin, that's from a new banner that just recently came out. 
they do make story chapters and give you orbs for doing the story chapters off of brand new banners that come out. Okay, so now what you're thinking is, okay, what would he fucking do? I go ahead and I beat all these, right? And I've wasted all my some, I've wasted all my orbs on summons, right? Now what? Why do you say this is so free to play friendly? Well, here's the good part. Let's say your your units are level, let's say, like this, right? One's 40, one's 30, and the others are 36. And you go ahead, and if you hit this normal button right here, everything gets switched into hard mode. The levels increase, it's not as easy anymore, right? It increases in difficulty basically. And what's nice is that all these missions on here on my screen, they're all done, right? But on your screen, when you do this, you have all those missions to do again, and you get an orb each, just like you did on normal mode. And you gotta take into account, that's 13, what is that? 26 um 39 <laughs> uh, 39 and 46 46 chapters cuz that took very long to calculate in my head um 46 chapters yeah 46 chapters to do oh yeah and that's right oh you beat it on hard oh that's cool do it on lunatic now Look at that. Another set of orbs that you can grind out. And I haven't even finished them. I still have to do this one, this one. I still have to do some of these. Oh yeah, if you beat the whole thing, the whole chapter, you'll see their face like this. But if you haven't, you'll see their face blacked out like this. Or faded out. 46 chapters, guys. That you get to get free orbs from that. Each chapter has five. Five orbs in it. And three different and three different difficulties, meaning three times the orbs per thing. That's so good. That's not good enough. All right, here have some paralogs. Each an orb. Three. Oh, that's not good enough. All right, hard mode. Oh, guess what? Lunatic mode. That's another three times three. Oh, that's not good enough. If you go down or you go up to the people's hero this one with icon it and you do this mission on normal it will give you this unit right here let me show you it will give you this ike right here this legendary ike that is a is a um is in a is a as a limited time unit that only comes out on certain banners okay you tell me which game does that for you that gives you a really good unit for free. Also, I'm pretty sure if you end up start start playing the game now or any at any point, they give you two two summons, I believe, that grant you a free five star of your choice from the the ones on the banner, and you get to pick whichever one you want. Okay. T tell me which gacha game uh, does all this for you. I'll wait. I'll wait. That's right, there's none. <laughs> but, yeah. Look at that. You got so many orbs at your disposal. And if that's not good enough, whenever they do make a brand new banner, like let's say brand new units, I should say. When they make brand new units and they slap them on a banner, like these units have been in the game for very long, right? These guys too. These guys, on the other hand, just released not that long ago. And guess what? They got a whole chapter dedicated to them in the story mode that you can get orbs from and if you somehow get these tickets right here you can use them to summon on the banner and if you do 40 summons on this banner you go ahead and you get to choose one of these banner units and you get them automatically there's also these tickets right here that can that you can use on this this banner there's this 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 banner of all the heroes being like children and everything which is adorable but you see there's so much free to play stuff here. There's so much niceness in this in this thing. Wait until I get to the summoning system. You guys are gonna lose it. Um, oh yeah. By the way, before I forget, tactician drills are kind of like the tutorials and everything. Um, see, as you can see right here, red beats green, green beats blue, blue beats red. 
Okay. Skill study is showing you how uh, the abilities and everything, like certain weapons, will go ahead and grant you special effects. Here's the A ability. Here's probably the B yeah, that's the B ability. Like let's say, like right here, you don't know what the hell's going on, right? Because you let's say you don't play the game, right? Here's the person's weapon, what it does. Okay. Legendary hero. Okay, Marth, I don't want to hear you. I'm sorry, but yeah. Dragonic Aura, that's his special, this little icon. Here's his A ability, here's his B ability, and here's his C ability. They all do different things that help out your unit. Um, hero Ordeals, I don't know too much about that, so I'm not going to touch it. Multi-tap battle, chain challenge, you do these, you can go ahead and pretty much get, you know, feathers. <laughs> you can do them on Lunatic, I believe, and you'll get orbs. But they're a lot harder than what other what other little things you can do. Uh, squad assault, you can actually get you know you can actually get effects or or uh, skills from these and orbs. But you have to you have to abide by the rules and they're very difficult. Blessed gardens, see how right here how this Marth is water blessed right? He has the water blessing. He and other people who have the water blessing can only do these missions. Same thing with the Guardian and the Winds. Only wind blessed heroes or earth type blessed heroes or fire type blessed heroes can do their specific missions. And that's why you make a team and you give them the blessings. Okay? What else is there? Uh, there's also um, the special maps. These guys will give you certain characters or certain units. What's it called? That are free to play? Well, that you get through beating the missions like this archer guy. Let's say you're like, dude, this guy looks pretty dope or it's a woman. I'm smart. What's it called? You go ahead and you grab, you do this event, right? Level 30. Shows you what it, uh, what unit, well, what you're going to fight against. Cause zero stamina. So you don't have to worry about stamina whatsoever. Um, here, if you beat the 40, level 41, you get a four star version of her. You beat the Infernal one, you get a 4 star version and 2,000 feathers, which is nice. You want Ursula? Go ahead, do this one. You get a you get a copy of her, right? It's pretty neat, all right? Uh, this is just for orbs. I believe if you do these, you get orbs. You do this, you get awakening items. You always get an orb for that one. For 500, you get more stuff. Here, for these... Uh, you need a certain unit. They recently started doing this where you need limits, um, where you need certain, only certain units to, to be able to beat the level and everything. And in the end, like this one, this Takumi one, or Takumi or Takumi or whatever, um, you go ahead and you beat this and you actually end up getting this guy right here, Takumi. I have him right here. Watch this to show you guys. I did this event a while back, and I ended up getting them. I ended up, I ended up did getting, I did get them. See, got them just for beating the event. All right. Now that we've shown off that, oh, you can also do these. Like you, you beat this guy's uh, level, you get him. You, uh, Ashnard, bam. Easy. You're getting free units, and every unit in this game is viable, and you always want to save up every every unit just in case. Um, you also can get orbs from these things. Well, some of them. Well, some of them you're just getting free units. Uh, Aether keeps. I don't really know too much about this place. It's kind of it's kind of weird. There's like there's an there's an Aeth an Aether resort where you can kind of have, you know. You can have units on here and they can just chill out. Uh, and at Aether Cape Keep, this is where you can go ahead and have your, your setup going for matches and stuff. I don't know. I, I haven't really looked too much into it, but I do know when I was playing this game, while I was playing this game, they added it. And I haven't really looked into it. Other than that, hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you accomplished everything that you wanted today. And don't forget to move that, the subscribe button and make sure to order the like button. And don't forget to emerald splash the bell icon so you do know when I upload. 
Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you, my crusaders.